No, we've had great science opening the doors of knowledge here, and, and we know that there's so much beyond it. We realize that the microbiome is a community, and if you nurture that particular community, it also nurtures us. And the science is actually showing it's not just about the gastrointestinal tract, it's about systemic actions, it's about the immunity, it's about the gut-brain axis, it's about skin, beauty from within, sports performance. There's so much coming up in this particular area, it's very exciting. Immunity is a great example, and it's not just for the gastrointestinal tract, it's the whole body. So as an example of that, let's talk about lungs. Uh, we know that probiotics and prebiotics have tremendous benefits in terms of, say, a lung infection. You get reduced symptoms, they're shorter, they're less frequent. And in another part of the immune system, uh, we can also modify the allergic response. So, you know, things that related to allergy are also calmed down by this approach. One that is actually gaining a lot of interest is the gut-brain axis. So there's communication between the gut and the brain as to how to act. And some great examples of that are irritable bowel syndrome, where you have this overreaction to things that may be happening in the GI tract. There may be a similar example with colic in babies. And uh, in other examples, you have benefits related to anxiety and even depression over the long term. So it really is a very powerful component. I love talking about postbiotics. This is a result of the interaction between nutrients and your microbiome, and they generate a whole range of chemicals that benefit your health. That may be short chain fatty acids for energy. It may be related to the control of your epigenetics, the gene expression. And it also can be in other areas like producing natural vitamins like vitamin K2, which you just can't get enough in your diet. I would love to have probiotics in the dietary guidelines because then we're giving advice to people to improve their health and wellness. And in fact, we've been using microbes for our health and wellness for millennia. There are the examples of fermented foods and even the yeast in our beverages, food and wine. So the concept is there. What we need to do is get very specific information that people can make very specific um, choices for their own health and wellness.